So I'm filming this on my phone because I don't want it to be jump cutty or anything like that. But I got asked the question by VidMe, why VidMe? What makes VidMe so special to you and why does it mean so much to you? And the answer is probably more simple than you think. But it's because it's a community that I can respect and I can share my content on without the fear that my content will be taken down or just something completely unjustified against my channel. It just really makes me happy to know that I can share content with you guys without it being put in jeopardy of, you know, anything bad happening to it. And this community is so positive and so great and you're just so meaningful to me. And I get support when I need support and I have everybody to back me up and I just love making content for you guys. You guys mean the world to me and that's why I choose VidMe because VidMe isn't just a platform, it's a community and one that I can respect at that. Hi, I'm Jacob Suggs, and you probably know me better as Frame by Frame if you've been watching this channel. Um, and I don't even know where to start with this video. I've I've got on my my old school Frame by Frame T-shirt. If you can see that, uh, it was given to me in like 2013 by my dad as a birthday gift, and it was just awesome. And I'm making this video for a few reasons. One, to answer some questions. Two, to thank a lot of people, and three, because I want to make this video, so you probably could have guessed that part. <laughs> Let's get out the people who I want to thank though first. Um, for the past three months, I've been on this website called VidMe, and I love YouTube to death, okay? I think YouTube's a great platform, but YouTube has some problems, and it's definitely hard for a creator who wants to, you know, share their content out in the world to get it out on YouTube. And so I discovered this site, VidMe, through Bright Sun Films. I'm a big fan of Jake's content. Go check out Jake. And so I checked out VidMe one day. I was homesick. I'll never forget it. It was the first day I've skipped in college. I, um, I was sick. I was in my bed. And I made a video about Blockbuster because I miss those old rental stores and stuff like that. And I posted it to YouTube and it got, you know, a decent amount of views. But then I posted it to VidMe and then it like doubled and tripled in views it blew my mind. And VidMe is just this incredible platform that there's so much positivity on this website and it's so easy for someone to get their content out and to get it featured and to grow as a channel on that website. It's just unbelievable to me. And I myself never thought that by posting one video to a website that I would become a featured creator on said website to have my videos featured on the front page and get over thousands of views and lots of thumbs up and upvotes and stuff like that. It just blows my mind how a community is so positive and kind and willing to support other people and collab with other people. VidMe is just an amazing platform that I can't recommend enough. You can find my link to that channel in the link in the description below. But they're just a fantastic platform and they're so kind and so nice, the people that run it. Um, just really awesome people, Duffy in particular, really awesome guy. And it's it's just like every issue I have with YouTube, VidMe has resolved. And it's not like VidMe has like the fanciest bells and whistles, but they're getting there. And they raised a lot of money recently, and they're becoming a really decent, awesome platform. Well, they, they're they already a great platform. I just want to, you know, put that out there now. They're a fantastic platform, and if you're not using it and you're a young creator that wants to get out and, you know, share your content and videos with the world, by all means, this is a great place to start and a great place to, you know, grow and continue if you want to do that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank VidMe and all of them, and today actually marks if you're watching on January 12th, 2017, it marks my four month anniversary on VidMe. I've been on for four months now. I love VidMe. I think it's a great platform. This isn't sponsored by any means. I would tell you if it was sponsored, but I just want to say this because it was in my heart to share it with you guys in this video. And I just, I can't thank you all enough. Now, the second reason why I'm making this video is because I get asked a lot, like, Jacob, what equipment do you use? And I wish I could be a filmmaker. This is one of the most heartbreaking comments I've ever received or messages. It was like, 
I want to be a filmmaker, but I don't have good equipment. I don't have a good mic. I don't have a good camera. I don't have film lights like you have. I'm filming with two film lights now. But the guy was just like, you know, I don't have decent equipment. And to me, if you want to tell stories and get out there and, you know, make movies, do it. Don't let your restrictions get in the way of you trying to tell stories or share your content out with the world. And really anyone can be a filmmaker these days. Like, you don't have to have the film lights or the microphone or the camera or all the equipment that like someone like I have or like a massive film production would have. If you've got one of these and it's a, this is my iPhone 6S Plus, um, you can be a filmmaker. This thing shoots in 4K, which is actually a better resolution than the Canon that I'm shooting on now. And to inspire you guys even more, I just want to say that I'm not sure what film festival it was. It might have been TIFF, it might have been the Toronto International Film Festival, but a few years ago, one of the award-winning short films was shot entirely on a cell phone. The fact of the matter is, is that I'd rather watch someone who's really passionate about something and willing to tell a story that they want to tell then watch another pointless video that is doing what everyone else is doing. And this is also the third reason why I wanted to make this video. I'm not like oblivious to the fact that my videos don't get like PewDiePie numbers by any means, or even like necessarily good numbers when it comes to YouTube, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I have no problem if a video gets two views because that means that a person, two people watched it and took time out of their day to watch something that I made, which is already like really like, that means a lot to me. I don't know how we managed to do this, but this is really um, the part of the video that I really wanted to make because it's a massive thank you to all of you guys. Um, every single one of you, all of the subscribers, all of the people that have watched my videos or my short films and are not subscribed, Thank you so, so much. We made a short film called Mona, and it's three short films combined into one big 15 minute short film. That's the way it was intended to be. We released it back in like November, late November, early December. And I remember when we hit 10,000 views, it took like a bunch of weeks. A thousand views blew my mind. 10,000 views completely, I was not expecting that. And so I put, you know, a thank you out on Twitter. I was like, thank you guys for helping us reach 10,000 views. That means a lot. And, and then like literally seven days later, not even 10 days later, we hit 20,000 views. And two days after that, we're already at like 26,000 something views. And we're almost at 30,000 views in about three to four days. And... <sighs> It just, it means so much to me. I, I don't like to call it my short film because it's not my short film, it's our short film. The cast that helped me make this possible, the crew that I had, my friend Philip, who did audio and stuff for the short film. It's not just my short film because a bunch of other people helped make the short film. And you've never, I, I've never once put on a post that this is my short film. I've always said our. If you look at all of the posts on Facebook and Twitter, all of them say that. And for a good reason. I, 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 I want to thank everybody now. I want to thank people like Rachel and Josh and Ben and Philip and Nathan and Charles and Meredith and really anybody else who read the script or who watched the short film slash short film, I can't thank you all enough. Honestly, it just shows me that, you know, I, I don't know how we managed to reach that goal, but there's something about it to me that's just really special. And so when I see something like that, I just, I, I can't, I seriously just can't thank you enough. I don't, I, I don't even know what to say next. And really those are the reasons why I wanted to make this video for you guys. To celebrate the four months I've been on VidMe and to share that awesome platform. To thank all of you guys for watching the short film and helping my channel grow throughout the pe you know past couple months and helping me and inspiring me to continue on doing what I'm doing. Um, supporting my short films and my passion. It's really hard to tell someone that you're an independent filmmaker that you're an independent filmmaker and they look at you kind of funny because they're like, really, that's what you want to do? 
And it's absolutely what I want to do. And it's hard to get supporters sometimes and really explain what you want to do. And I just can't thank you all enough for supporting me there. And finally, I just wanted to say thanks for supporting the short film in general, uh, Mona. I released a, another short film unrelated to Mona called Assertion a few weeks ago, or not, well, last week. <laughs> I want to end this video by saying I want to do something special for you guys in return. Whether that be a movie review or a series that you want me to review, whether that be um, a live stream Q&A or a Q&A in general, or maybe if you guys play video games, I know I play a few video games, I'm not like a massive gamer by any means, but I do dabble a little bit. Uh, maybe we could do like an Xbox Live party thing to where I talk with a few, you know, a few you guys and we play some Overwatch or Halo 5 or Battlefront or any game really. And that's where I want to end this video. How do you want me to thank you guys? Please leave a comment down below, message me, let me know. I want to do something special for you guys um, for on VidMe and on YouTube. Let me know um, down in the comments below. I can't thank you guys enough. It really means a lot to me. What's up guys, I'm Jacob Suggs, and this is a VidMe exclusive video. Um, it will not be on YouTube, for obvious reasons, um, as stated in this video. My short film, Mona, um, hit 50,000 views on YouTube, and that completely blows my mind. I was not expecting that. It completely threw me off. I, I didn't even think we were going to break a thousand, and I'm really thankful for everybody's support and positivity when it comes to that. But there's one problem. I'd been getting some dislikes on the short film. Like, not many, like about four added dislikes. And that's not, like, significant. And if it's a genuine dislike, I could care less. But it got me thinking, where are these dislikes coming from? And so I started looking at, like, key search terms that are, like, leading people to the video and stuff like that. And something surprising really took me off guard. Basically, YouTube has been sorting my short film under the film and animation category, which is the category I put it in because it's a short film. It even has short film in the title, but YouTube has been associating it and putting in the suggested videos on the sidebar for videos related to a media that I don't want to be associated with, to say it the nice way. One, I don't believe that every single person that watched the short film is clicking on it thinking that it's porn. Like, it says short film in the title, it's clearly not anything like that at all, it doesn't contain any content like that, and it's it says short film in the title. <laughs> my other thing is like, look, the short film's 15 minutes. If someone clicks on my short film thinking that it is porn, and they watch it for 15 minutes, um, instead of doing, you know, something else. To me, that speaks volumes on my, like, I, I would rather have somebody watch something whole, at least something interesting and not related to content like that, you know, for 15 minutes instead of watching something that you probably shouldn't be watching. That being said, though, I don't think that every single person, all 50,000 people clicked on the short film thinking that it was, you know, not thinking that it was uh, that medium. <laughs> to me, that's just crazy. And I do believe that there are some genuine dislikes for the short film, which I'm perfectly okay with. Criticism is important to me. I get it. And we've got a lot more, you know, likes than dislikes on YouTube. Here's where VidMe comes in, right? I know for a fact that one VidMe is actually run by people who care about their platform. And I know for a fact that they would not let my short film fall into a category that it's obviously not supposed to be in. And that being said, technically speaking, you're not allowed to have that kind of content on YouTube, the content that they're producing. Not, not my content, I'm talking about like pornography. You can't have that on YouTube, apparently. But because YouTube is run so poorly, people can post it kind of under the radar and it can still be uploaded without notice and it's up to the users to flag it, not the creators of, you know, the site when it should be their job. Here on VidMe, they express like, look, you can have NSFW stuff 
for content, just let everybody know, but you cannot have, like, pornography and stuff on our website, and we're not going to associate your stuff with that. We have certain categories, and we're going to make sure that your content fits in one of those categories. And so that's another reason why I appreciate VidMe, because VidMe at least isn't going to throw my content under the bus and say, hey, this is related to your content, when it's obviously not. It's just frustrating whenever you see that your short film is being suggested under other short films that are not family friendly. <laughs> when I see that a site puts my content that I put a lot of effort and time into making this like, in, you know, a short film that I think is kind of cool. It's not perfect, but I think it, I, I worked on it. And yet they place my content with content that shouldn't be on their website in the first place. So I also want to make this video to say thank you to VidMe again for respecting my content and saying, hey, this is the category that it belongs under. We're not going to let anything on our site that doesn't belong here. You guys are amazing because it's actually run by real people and I respect that to the highest degree. I just want to make this video to say thank you VidMe again for at least respecting my content and putting it under the correct category. Like I said, on YouTube, I don't think that all of those views came from that. Not many probably did, but the dislikes certainly did because Trace and get their analytics and stuff. That's how I found out about that. And I can totally get it. If you click on one video thinking that it's something else, it kind of can tick you off and you, you're probably going to dislike it. Thank you VidMe for respecting my content. Thank you for respecting your users and your creators and the content that they make. It just means the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next frame by frame film review.